The cicadas are coming. There have been some sightings of the critters already, but they will probably be everywhere in our area around this time next week. WDRB's Travis Ragsdale explains why there's nothing to worry about as they start coming back out of the ground. Kind of rather gruesome looking monstrous little beast uh, with, with what we call fossorial legs. Hold on, hold on, don't panic. Look, I know what you're thinking. There's the few of these red-eyed creepy little bugs coming up out of the ground and it's the end of the world. It's not, but when I say a few, what I really mean is a few billion. We're getting excited. About Meet Steve Yanoviak. As an entomologist, you know, we, we get excited about any kind of event that becomes newsworthy like this. He's probably one of the only people actually excited about this. Ah, the sweet, sweet song of the cicada. It's been nearly 20 years since our area has last seen a mass emergence of the critters, and in a matter of days, we'll be in the bullseye again. They basically have this extended prolonged life cycle, it takes 17 years, most of that happens underground. After spending 17 years underground, the cicadas begin to emerge, but they're coming out of the ground for a very specific reason. So the whole, whole purpose of coming out of the ground at this time of the year is just to find mates and then repeat the cycle. Then the cicadas go back into the ground. The nymphs, we call them, the juveniles, will drop into the soil and begin feeding on the roots of the trees. And there they will stay for another 17 years. But why 17? There's also a 13 year periodical cicada. Um, and the numbers 13 and 17 are really important because they're both prime numbers. It's presumed that that 17 and 13 year interval is actually a predator avoidance strategy that's just been tweaked over time. It's really difficult to synchronize anything to a prime number. Weird, just like the bugs themselves. So the periodical cicada, the 17 year cicada, it's gonna have red eyes. It'll be a little bit, maybe like three quarters the size of this individual, and it will have a bright red, a bright orange uh, venation in so the wings. It will stick out. It will stand out. They don't bite humans. They can be noisy if you're right next to them, and that's a nuisance. But apart from that, uh, it's really something that we should just collectively celebrate. Travis Ragsdale, WDRB News. He said collectively celebrate. <laughs> um, so the takeaway here, just in case, sum it all up. These bugs are going to come out of the ground, mate, yes. and then go back to sleep for another 17 years. 17 years sleep, yes. All right. I remember when they were here last time, it just, they're so creepy. Story of the day right there, Valerie Chen. <laughs>